Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided I would show you how I made this cute ornament with stuff left over from my wedding. If you don't know, um, my husband and I got married this year in April. So this is our first Christmas together and I'm so excited. But um, I wanted to make some sort of ornament that used things we had left over and to just kind of, um, you know, just to be special from our wedding. I did get an ornament from Hobby Lobby that just says Mr. and Mrs. 2015, you know, in case we ever forget what year we were married. But um, but I also wanted to make one, just that makes it a little bit more special. So um, it's so, so simple, but I thought I would show you how. So let's get started. All right, so you're gonna need a big clear ornament. I got mine from Walmart and it was only like a dollar. Um, and mine's plastic. I didn't get the glass one because I didn't want to accidentally break it. And I want to keep this for many years and I don't want it to be in danger of breaking in the in a box or, you know, if we ever have kids, I don't want them like to hit it and it break. And so, yeah, I just got the plastic one. I thought that would be best. Then you can really use whatever um, things you have left over from your wedding. What I'm going to be using are... Um, some flower petals. We used fake flowers, so I have tons of them left over. And if you couldn't tell, our wedding colors were black and pink. And if you couldn't tell, those are like my favorite colors, favorite colors combination together. But um, yeah, so I'm using flower petals and then just a napkin from our wedding. We had these at the reception and they just say Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Megan, April 11th, 2015. So I'm gonna just be using those two things and it's so simple. So what I did first is I um, cut out just the part that says Mr. and Mrs. in our name. Because the napkin was just too big to go in the ornament. So I cut it all out and it looks, it's like this big, Ooh, upside down. But it's just this big. And then I rolled it up. Maybe. I just kind of rolled it up and kind of pushed it in to the ornament. And then I used a pencil to kind of, um, get it to lay the way that I want it to. So there you go. And then all I did next was just take these petals and just stuff them in. And it's kind of the part that takes the longest. Um, but yeah, you just start sticking these petals into the ornament. And you can kind of alternate um, if you want to so you don't have like all of one color. You know, if you have different flower petal colors. You can kind of alternate so that they're not all the same color right in a bunch. But yeah, you just do that until you get it as full as you want. Um, you can just, you know, let it be, you know, not that full or really full, but uh, yeah, just keep stuffing them in there. All right, once that I got it as full as I wanted, I took that pencil again and I just kind of made sure that the napkin was kind of, you know, in a good place and it wasn't all folded up and that you could read the words. It's kind of hard, but I, I found that a pencil was the best thing to use. So you just, you know, move it around till it's right where you want it. And then you put your little topper back on and there you go, that's just as simple as it gets, but I really like it and it's gonna be something nice to have for years, for in the future to say, oh, these were petals from our wedding and these this was a napkin from our wedding. So um, it's really cute and a fun ornament to keep on our tree and to remember um, our wedding this year. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe and tell your friends and and thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Is five tips for the lazy Christmas decorator.